you can't park here. Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry! I can't be late for my big moment. Well, well folks, folks, we've had plenty of worthy, worthy winners, winners, but now, now it's, it's time, time for the number, number one prize. prize. The, the big, big fish, fish, the, the crown, crown jewel, jewel, the, the golden gold. boot! Ah, <sighs> just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep, keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the, and the nominees, nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from, from Barca, Barca FC. FC. El, El Matador from, from Super Strikers. Strikers. <laughs> Scarra from, from Invincible United. United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner is... Super Strikers! Didn't win. What? Huh? Well done, my friend. But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at them. Oh, huh? If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't the biggest cheat award, because then you would win every time. Wow, guys. Oh, guys. First, First Super, Super Strikers, Strikers won the league, league last season, season, and now this? I couldn't have done it without my team. You hear that? I, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks, everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altibu invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakespeare? Well, it would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end-of-season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, man. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Payback. We'll be landing shortly. Welcome to El Tebow's Island. Whoa. Shakes. Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, shakes. Hey, what's, hey, what's hey, happening, man. dude? Well, well, well. It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you're about your babysitter, Shakes. <laughs> The only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh, probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen, I'm offering something, something much more exciting than that. Than that. <laughs> the challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina, 
This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, the last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But, if any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah, why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappadappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Skara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the golden boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, El Matador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate! Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck! I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah, just wish I brought my swimming trunks. Ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No char, watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe, keep working them wings. Gotcha, brother. Twisting Tiger, make some space in the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klaus Mann. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La, la. la. Run for your lives, brothers. <laughs> la. Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super Strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tank. Ah! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. Rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two, the pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, uh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. You jerk! Why did you take out Laquito? Yeah. yeah, most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing Kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem.
Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what? Exactly. That's a long way down. Hey! Over here! You ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Yeah, we've been over this. I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo. Scara, sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> you were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Scara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left. But only two will make it to the ball. Showdown, and only one will be crowned the king of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum! <laughs> I can't wait! <laughs> Not so fast! Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection! Guys! You gotta come see this! Hey, Klaus! How many times we gotta tell you? We're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke! No! You guys really gotta come see this! <sighs> Shakes is on TV! His big secret elite tournament is... A celebrity reality show? <sighs> reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! yeah! Who is in hot enough form to make it to the Volcano Inflamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> Is this the VIP lounge? Pouches you seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. But no gift bag. Huh? Please, oh please. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. This party. Altivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara. I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. 
If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano Soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shanks and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Skara? Dude, told you it's all fake. Why would Skara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. <laughs> Some holiday this turned out to be, eh, Shakes? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. It looks like I let you off easy again. No! Come on, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show, man. I guess this means Shakes has won it. All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow. It's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man! The barbecue! Okay, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? The game's changed, Shakes. Ah! Oh, come on! How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo-hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheer, Slow. None of this is real. You're on reality TV shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? <gasps> <gasps> what? <clears throat> shakes! If we're on TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. No VIP room? I just can't win. El Matador wins! How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. They fought through the jungle, balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> what is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? <gasps> all right. There isn't one. Shakes, dude. Shakes, dude. Shakes, dude. Uh, 
I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now where's my gift bag? I won. But he didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? No! 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 Reality TV sucks! Told you! Totally sucks, dudes! Oh, man! Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> Hmm, I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Ah, no. Of course. <laughs> the lost stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to Strike a Lab. Match day at Strike a Land! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with commentary Starman. The Master of Flair! The Samba King, John Aldo. Welcome to the end of the road. Ha! You think you can stop my Samba style? That's cute. When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha-ha! <laughs> the Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Shaw, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? <laughs> He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break, a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we going to do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence-building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. 
The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promised to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my uh -huh. Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa. This is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out. This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet. Hold up, North. Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... There's some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's the wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! <gasps> to hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's some made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? 
I got a game to win. See? We're totally on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back so baby came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! A hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> Because I'm a fake. I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. I put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. 
We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Sauce. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! yes. <laughs> then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, yes. Right two, on. three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. Oh! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shore and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've gotta make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> Oh, 
one back to draw with Paul Nateri in Brazil. And they've proven Donaldo can be stopped. Good doing business with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hates hmm? this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. This sucks! Whoa! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes! You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargle, blargle. Blah, 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 Yes! Brilliant! Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson! My Technovision glasses! The glasses you are wearing! Are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about the skunk, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. But they were handing him out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh. I'm looking great. <laughs> Gonna score lots of goals today. <laughs> you a skunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. Mm. Oh. It stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. 
Hmm, my glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. <laughs> and we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. Oh. Hmm, what should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lap? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. All right, all right, we get it. That went well. I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself. 
no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh, the 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm -mm. Drama, check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, goal-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in Red Hot Forum, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys, yeah? what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador. It's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, 
When did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? But if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, oh. Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now, listen. El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back. Defend your lead and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? Whoa! Uh, hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rules, Shakes. Uh... I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Nobody touches the glasses. I'm 
not a big fan of Ponytail Magazine. Ha <laughs> ha, that'll do. <laughs> Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Oh, what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. 